Space City Pop. Well, El Chapo was handed down his sentence and he got life in prison. I had no doubt that was going to happen and apparently neither did he because he finally spoke actually through a translator where he basically called the whole American judicial system a scam, is corrupted, he was fucked before it started. What was the point of even having this trial? It's just a big circus. The judge is against him. He ain't done none of it. And by the way, he's been treated torturously while he's been in jail for the last 30 months here in America. So now that he's been found guilty, he's going to maximum, maximum, de maximum, de maximum security prison, Supermax in Colorado. They're going to make sure he doesn't jump off of a fucking rooftop into a helicopter that whisks him away back to the Sinaloa Mountains or crawl through a tunnel in the ground in Colorado and make it all the way to Mexico where he can take back his position as the rightful king of the Sinaloa cartel and spend his $14 billion because the American government don't know where the hell it's at. They never found it. They wanted him. And they got him. He escaped twice from major Mexican prisons, but both times through corruption. Guards helped him. Prison security helped him. Corrupt politicians on the outside helped him. But in America, I mean, guys like Gilberto and Miguel from Cali Cartel against Pablo are in American maximum security prisons. None of these guys ever escape. He's done. It was a good run. What a story. From a poor peasant farmer who started growing marijuana, who as a teenager did a hit for the local cartel, and from that point on was a part of the organization and worked his way up, and from breaking rules even within the organization and managing to stay alive, made it to the top of the organization, especially once he established his own routes, which were making the cartel he worked for tons of money and eventually through some power moves he made it to the top until he was arrested the corrupt Mexican politicians could not protect him from being arrested any longer and he went to prison but he had a lot of dirt on a lot of people and a lot of money still and was able to escape twice but once the US was able to get that extradition with the Mexican government his days were numbered they caught him again. They extradited him to America 30 months ago. And now he's been found guilty. And now he's serving life in prison at the most secure facility in America. So he has now arrived at Supermax in Florence, Colorado. And his long vacation is now in progress. So I'm sure he'll be crying in bed tonight. No more tacos. No more senoritas. So many beautiful senoritas. No more villas in every fucking beautiful beach town in Mexico. No more cervezas. No more mariachi. And he knows his family's going down one by one too. Because now that they've won this victory, the government's going to go after the rest of them. The only way he can make his life a little bit better while he's in there is if he makes a deal to give them some of that money back. And they're going to want it all. They think he has $12 billion. He definitely has billions out here, even in the United States and all around the world. Definitely in Mexico, too. But I don't think he'll ever give it to them. El Chapo put away billions in complex ways. There's money all over the place. And nobody knows where it's at. Nobody has a clue how to get to any of it. Yeah, they can go after some properties here, this and that, but they can't find the money. They have no fucking clue. And we're not talking about like, we're not talking about a couple million dollars. We're not even talking about a couple billion dollars. We're talking about over $10 billion with a B. Big time money. And the government's like, where the fuck is it? We want that money. They want that money so bad. They literally want that money so bad. So will Chapo give up some of the billions to make his life in prison a little better? Or is he going to keep quiet like he's known to do? 
He can still spend the money for people on the outside, but he can't spend the money for himself in there in any kind of serious way. He's in the most secure prison in America. He's not going anywhere. So will he hand over some of the billions, maybe in some kind of negotiation with the American government, so he can make his life here better until he dies? Keep in mind that El Chapo Guzman ordered the kidnapping, torture, and murder of any enemy and anyone who got in the way of him expanding his drug empire. There was testimony after testimony during the trial, including from guys like Chupo, the twins in New York, who all told stories about Chapo being their boss. All those guys were millionaires being his partner. So he was partnered with them, but he was the Chapo was the big shot. He made a lot of money, and a lot of his friends made a lot of money. And he was very clever about where he put his family. A lot of them are here in America, and they have access to a lot of that drug money. So I don't think he wants to give that up. He came from nothing, and I think he can just as well go back to nothing. He's really a simple guy. The way that they caught him was that a local taco shop got a huge order of tacos the police were watching stuff like that they followed the taco delivery guy who was bringing like this massive amount of tacos to this fucking apartment and it was chapo in there with all his guys having a little party they had girls and beer and the whole thing and it was operation get chapo they fucking got him with like the mexican version of swat team so the tacos are what did him in. He needed the tacos in his life. What the hell good is the money if you can't have what you want? This guy doesn't like to talk, but that's all about to change. He only gave one interview, and it was in that whole Sean Penn debacle. He's the only one who manipulated El Chapo into getting an interview. Now what the fuck does that say about Sean Penn? Either he's a damn good journalist, or that motherfucker's worse than El Chapo. <laughs> Literally, he's going to be getting offers all the time for interviews. He is going to accept an offer, okay? He's going to be so desperate to talk to somebody. And the hottest chica who sends that guy an interview offer, boom, she's there in Colorado. 